Hello there, my name is Jessica Bell, and today I'll be talking to you about chlorozylenol, which happens to be my favourite molecule. I'll be discussing two main topics surrounding chlorozylenol, and these two topics are the relationship between chlorozylenol's physical structure and its chemical properties and functions, and the importance of this molecule to me personally, as well as the general uses of the products this molecule is found in. But I only have three minutes to do it, so let's get started. First off, I will be talking about the structure of a chlorozylenol molecule and how its structure relates to and influences its functionality. The name of a molecule can tell us a lot about its physical structure. In the case of chlorozylenol, its structure can be determined from its non-systematic name of parachloromatazylenol, or PCMX for short. The prefixes para and meta are the important parts of this non-systematic name. But what does a model of chlorozylenol look like? Here's what I prepared earlier. In this model, we have our 8 carbon, 9 hydrogen, 1 chlorine, and 1 oxygen atoms. Six of these carbons make up a benzene ring which is found in the centre of the molecule. A prefix para in PCMX indicates the location of the chlorine atom bonding to the fourth carbon atom on the benzene ring, while the prefix meta indicates the location of the two methyl groups, one on the third and one on the fifth carbon atoms of the benzene ring. The OH group is always found directly opposite to the chlorine atom in a PCMX molecule, and it is the OH group which gives PCMX its desired functionality. PCMX is an active ingredient in antimicrobial soaps and antiseptics, but we'll talk more about that later. The OH group of the PCMX molecule allows it to be classed as a halophenol, making it a phenol-based antibacterial agent. Because it is a phenol-based molecule, it is understood to work through its OH group. The OH group binds to the proteins in the cell membrane of present bacteria, thus allowing the contents of the cell to be exposed or to leak out. This breaking down of the cell membrane allows more PCMX to enter the cell, where it then binds further with different proteins and enzymes, effectively shutting down the cell's functions. More specifically, at high concentrations, proteins and nucleic acids are coagulated by the PCMX and cease to function entirely within the cell, which leads to rapid cell death. Because of these general antiseptic and antimicrobial functions, PCMX is commonly used as the active ingredient in specialist products such as soaps used specifically for tattoo aftercare. As a person who is tattooed and is aware of how important aftercare is to the healing process of a tattoo, anything that will help in keeping my fresh ink clean and infection free is my best friend. Tattoo Goo Deep Cleansing Soap is one of many antibacterial soaps and lotions which uses PCMX as their main active ingredient. This specific product is especially formulated to contain PCMX in order to cleanse skin at a deep level and impede and prevent bacterial growth. And it is because of this reason that chlorozylenol is my favourite molecule. 